Monday night and tomorrow I am waking up at 5am to do some different morning routines for you guys. I love my life. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I don't have a morning routine anymore and this is coming from someone who has stuck to routines, stuck to schedules, stuck to to-do lists for probably their entire life but it's just not hitting the same anymore. Seasonal depression here and I stopped waking up at 6, started getting up at like around 7 and it's basically just waking up where I felt like my body clock was ready. I've been taking mornings really slowly, just doing what I feel like. It's been so nice like not having a routine and just getting up and doing what I want however it does create a bit of de decision um decision I'm just gonna say decision tiredness like I'm, I'm done I'm not I'm not fucking looking up words anymore and so it does take me a, a little bit longer than it probably should to get up in the morning so I've been researching different ways to spend your morning and I feel like there is a common theme that you have one morning routine and you find out what works for you and then you stick with it that is so boring so so in this video instead what I'm going to be exploring is this idea of different routines you can do throughout the week and they focus on different things that you want to work on in your life or that you want to just do in your morning and like but you can't fit it all into one routine. So I have my creative morning routine, I have my like educational morning routine, my self-love morning routine and then I have more of a mindfulness well-being morning routine and basically each each morning focuses on, on that aspect and I do variable habit within that routine along with my fixed habits. If you didn't know what that means, fixed habits are basically things you do every single day. So for that, for me in the morning, that's I exercise, I have a shower, I have breakfast, make my bed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all my fixed variables. I have to do those in the morning because I know that's how I can start my day. My variable habits are something more that I want to work on, something I'm a bit more flexible on so I don't hold them to a a certain value if I don't complete them. So in this video I'm going to be giving you a little ranking on how each of them goes and also things that you can do if you're not interested in the things I'm doing. But yeah, come and join me waking up at 5am. Oh disclaimer, the video is not about waking up at 5am. I'm just doing that one because it's clickbait but two, <laughs> but two, um, I said like I'm a uni student and filming takes a really long time for me so I have to get up earlier if I wanna. And I'll give you a rating to see how waking up at 5am goes because who knows, I might actually like it. I don't think so, I don't think so. I'll see you guys in the morning. had a shower. You may be wondering why like I have been doing my morning routine in such a weird order. I think 
like when I'm writing and when I'm thinking about writing I need like the space properly absorb of what I'm creating so which is why I'm like journaling then exercising brainstorming and then having a shower before I go on to like the next stage of writing so it gives me time to like properly think about what I'm creating mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you vitamin C is literally the best fucking thing for my skin Kind of mum vibes, really, isn't it? No, mum vibes. Okay, a little bit better. Problem with having big boobies. Fucking ginormous in a turtleneck. Melons, actually, actual melons. Oh. So it is half past nine at the moment. I told you guys I take long. What the fuck have been up since five? Um, initial thoughts, I don't feel tired. I feel the same sort of if I wake up at seven. And I actually really fucking like like the last part of the routine, but writing for an hour and coming out for a walk without the music and like breaking up writing and then doing my lectures and so it feels like I'm ready for the uni day. And I have my coffee as well. So I'm not like drinking my coffee with my lecture.
I look kind of like a boiled egg sort of vibes. This is really nice. I feel like it would be a nice like morning routine in the weekend or on a Friday when I don't have any seminars. I feel like I've associated over time that like sleeping in is like the best way to like recover. I'm actually like changing that up and like seeing like oh okay if I get up I can have a nice bath and stuff. It feels like a lot more relaxing than sleeping in because come along with me and we're gonna get some pan raisins or like one of those like custody things <laughs> who knows we'll see we'll see we will see what's available when we get there as hard it didn't offer me any like gratification i mean it was all right like i i got an extra hour of practice in french and i listened to a ted talk <laughs> but aside from that i just didn't really feel like anything different from my morning routine i feel like if i was to do this again like routine education maybe i'll do i don't know like a skillshare course or um like one of the crash courses or something like that would even just go straight to the library and do like extra reading around the subjects i'm interested in i'm gonna do some journaling instead and drink my coffee i'll see you in the morning guys recently everyone says they are seeing less of me i can do better
A year ago, literally a year ago, if you told me I would be doing these sort of things, I would have laughed in your face. I feel like I, we grew up, like this generation grew up with like the idea of positivity and like looking after yourself, you know, like happy mind, happy spirit, etc, etc. It was really cringy and so it's like taking a lot of reworking to be like, this isn't cringy. Like I'm just speaking about what I want to feel and how I want to feel. So today I said I'm feeling calm in my mind. I'm feeling grounded and stable and I am feeling gratitude. And then my to be one is I am someone who is prepared for the weekend. I am someone who is careful of what they say. A habit I'm trying to enforce on myself is, you know, the same thing before you speak. But I want to be really mindful about the way I speak and when I speak and what I share and what I say. And then the final one is I am someone who is creative with life. I think I spoke about this on my last vlog how literally everything I do in my life is creative. So sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm creating anything. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I'm just trying to get back into touch with realizing and like signaling to myself like the things I'm doing are creative and I am doing creative things because sometimes I feel like that's like my biggest insecurity and my biggest like negative fall is that I'm not creative enough whereas I do so much creativity on a day-to-day -day basis but yeah I'm gonna do some morning pages now drink my tea um, and then have breakfast smurfit on wow so it is friday we have come to the end of my four different routines i was gonna do five but i literally can't think of anything else i want to do in the morning <laughs> so first initial opinions thoughts feelings about this first of all i'm not tired this is not to be like waking up at 5 a.m is the best i'm like waiting for myself to be tired but i'm not i'm literally not i was writing in my journal today and i was like i have so much more like clarity yeah i have like i can't describe it it's not that like i feel more awake or i feel more productive i feel like my day i'm i have so much more clarity and connection to my day in the last four days like even if i'm not doing anything productive i'm not like mulling over it too much you know what i mean like the whole of last uh yesterday's afternoon i was just like on my phone just like dawdling but i was like content i was like yeah it's fine like i'm getting stuff done so that's nice that's unusual i would also like say so regarding the routines i think categorizing them is such a good idea because it feels like i've done so much this week what well, i've written a thousand word i've done a duolingo class i've meditated for half an hour i've done a yoga class um i've done journaling i've done reading i've gone for walks before my seminar and like that's not to say like you have to do all of those things in the morning i think it's nice to know like oh i have the space and time to do whatever i want to work on to do like things that i can't really do during my day because of work or because of uni or because of school like 
one way I can compare it is like drawing for yourself rather than drawing to for a commission, drawing for your Instagram, drawing for your social media. Like everything I did this morning, uh, these past mornings was for myself. It was no like, gain in it. It was literally because I wanted to do it and there was no like gain from it. Like I didn't, I wasn't going on my social media. Okay, it wasn't for anyone but myself. And it was really nice. It was very nice. I would say though that um, my fixed variables came quite larger. Um, so I ended up reading in bed half an hour, so from 5 to 5.30 I would read. Like, and the fixed variables do take up a, a lot of amount of time. So I would say if you're planning to be like, okay, I want an hour just for the one thing I want to do, put it an hour and a half before you need to do work or before you need to go to uni or before you need to go to school. So I think my writing routine worked so well is because I had like a tiny mini morning routine. Then I did writing, then I went for a walk and then I started my day. I think with the problem with the like day I was doing like learning the language um and today is I did everything before breakfast so then my fixed variables I took longer because I was like oh well I have I have ages to do it um so then I ended up spending more time on really nothing um will I be carrying this out um yes because I'm actually interested like how I react and how it will feel when I'm not filming because filming does take a lot of mental strain on you because you're think constantly thinking of different angles you're constantly wasting time setting things up doing things in a, in a different way wondering like oh is this gonna look good is this gonna be enough filming for each morning so there was like that added stress and added weight on it so i'll be really interested to see if like how much i enjoy it or how like like next week i'm gonna carry out for one more week and um by, by the time this is probably out because i fucking take it forever for editing so yeah, I'll, t I'll tell you in the description how it's gone. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please let me know if you have any other morning like rituals you like doing or like have any ideas to create a day. Like I had my writing day and my like mindfulness day and self care day. Like I'll be really interested because you guys are always looking for new routines. I think the reason why I've had so much like clarity and connection is because I'm doing stuff new. Like my brain's like, oh yes love this um so yeah i'm very excited to try it out and and i'll catch you later guys see you bye